The Metropolitan Police say hundreds of extra officers are being deployed this weekend to prevent disruption from planned demonstrations. Thousands of people from various groups came together in central London earlier to protest. Among them, the environmental campaign group Just Stop Oil, who were responsible for causing 32 days of disruption earlier this year. Guy Lin reports. No shortage of police or causes. Several protests by unions and other groups on the embankment today, demanding a general election and action to combat cost of living, with the police on high alert for any disruption. Everyone has a right for lawful protest and we are here to ensure and make sure that that protest is able to be carried out. It's when that becomes disruptive and breaks the law that we must step in and we make a plea to those people to not do that and not cause the disruption and not break the law. Over the last month or so, the group Just Stop Oil have thrown soup at works of art, sprayed buildings and caused disruption for many Londoners by blocking roads. Today, Just Stop Oil were protesting lawfully, along with other groups, as part of the demo on the embankment. But they've repeatedly said the disruption to the public elsewhere may continue. Stop burning trees! But what about those people who have nothing to do with any of that? They're just trying to get to, you know, get to wherever they've got to get to, get to hospital, other places. Why should they have to suffer so much, continue suffering so much as a result of your political aims? Do you know what? It's unfortunate that we have to cause disruption, but I'm so bored of talking about tactics. Pick up a history book. We know that this is how movements of social change happen. Civil resistance is the only option we have left to get the radical change we need in the timescale that we have. The government said it wants to crack down harder on actions which disrupt the public. And with ongoing focus on Just Stop Oil, the police say they're on standby, with 900 extra officers this weekend, in case there's a return to more disruptive tactics. Guy Lin, BBC London.